Hello, brothers and sisters of my hand are Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is my common sense. I try to keep it down in the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, that means it's something very important. And everything I fucking say is fucking important. I still have not gotten to sleep yet. But of course, I, f I ran across an interesting topic on the YouTube. And of course, I am caring to interest to, to talk about it. And if you have any questions, comments, or insults, you put it down below. Comments, questions, or insults, you put it down below. Okay. My, my, my page is about crazy pandemonium and comedy. And I tried to make you happy with my non monotonic voice. Okay. Because I have personality. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> now, did I waste a minute of your time? You get rid of most of the masses of ignoraniuses out there. Um, a minute has been passed right about now. So this topic, I'm going to begin right now. So this topic is going to be called, um, um, uh, Why Racism is Exciting. Okay. I'm making this video because of the fact that uh, uh, a turd flinging monkey, uh, his the title is, I'll put it down in the description box as well. Why racism is retarded. And also because of Sexy Migto, which he created the title of Why Racism is Amazing. But mine's is going to be Why Racism is Exciting. Why Racism is Exciting. God damn it, exciting. It's fucking exciting. This is a crazy pandemonium world. And we are living in a matrix. And that's why I say it's exciting. And I'm going to give you multiple reasons why it is exciting. Okay, No matter what happens in this pandemonium, beautiful, nightmarish world we live in today. Hallelujah. <laughs> As-salam salaikum. You got to accept the excitement behind it. There are people in this world who have the Majora's Mass effect. Okay, look at my past video about that. There are people in this world who want to see the world burn in an inferno and transform itself into a red sun or blue dwarf sun. Okay, or understand, you don't understand how exciting it is. But this, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down a little brief explanation of why I made this video. Okay, and then I'm gonna give you my definition. My <laughs> definition of why racism is exciting. Okay, first of all, um, uh, T F M. Okay, which means turd fling monkey. Okay, he's a, such a monotone individual, of course. But I watch his videos. Okay, they're exciting. I wish he would revert back to the the old ways. He was doing his mo monkey thing when the monkey would pop up or something like that. And I wish he would bring back his little humor, his comedy and stuff like that instead of his monotone. You know, I, I like the way the monkey would come out okay, and, and speak with, with the cigar in his mouth. But he changed it. His pages is evolving into something that I hope it doesn't get any bo more boring. Okay, because sometimes I be dozing the motherfucker off. <laughs> but if he makes fun of me, I'll get more views. Okay, so I highly doubt that he would do such a thing. But anyhow, a turd flinging monkey. I call it turd flinging monkey. T F M. He the title called "Why Racism Is Retarded." He talks about mixed breed qualities to narrow it down. What he was talking about, he was saying that it is retarded. Because it's like it doesn't matter, okay? And it's like the only thing he's focusing on is mixed breeding with different species, okay? And of course, he's 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 bypassing all of the facts. He doesn't really care about the facts. He just says it's retarded because he don't really want to be involved in it. He's actually more for the he's a pacifist for the majority of the masses of the liberals out there, okay? And he's definitely don't want to be considered a, a racist so he can lose views. While I do not care about views or subscribers, okay? I usually tell the truth like it is, called tough love, okay? So his whole entire topic of what he was talking about for like 11 minutes, I think it was. And also, um, Sexy Mento talked about 11 minutes as well. But he talked about uh, TFM. He talked about the, uh, the qualities of higher species males, or females, or whatever, or any breed of race of human beings, and he tries to say that we are all are humans. We all are not humans. Some of us can shift shaped. Some of us look like humans, okay? But of course, technically, if you look on the conspiracy side of things, there are people who look like humans, but they are really not humans, okay? So they are at a different. Well, I I read a lot of uh, creation stories in where uh, white the white man came from another world. 
through the Anunnaki world. They were crossbreed and genetically created by the Anunnaki. Okay? And then I read another story of the Egyptian gods, which created the Africans. Okay? So you got to understand, if you're going to go, if you're going to go back to that, those videos, the creation stories, you can go back. Just look up Mafia's Knowledge Creation Stories 1 and 2, okay? Because I don't like repeating myself many times over again. But you got to understand that. What, a flinging tape, turd monkey, fling, turd flinging monkey talked about the mixed qualities of different races. And I talk about that all of the time, okay? And then all of a sudden you got this man, uh, a sexy Migto. He was all factual. He even had some posts up there, okay? You know, now there will be some liberals who say that, well, we don't believe in that white media type shit, white trash or some shit like that. But the only thing, way, reason why he would not be accepted is because he said the word nigga and he's white, okay? So people will consider him a racist and they don't know him from can to paint. He's just probably angry. And he, cons he put his page under the sexy Migto. Sexy Migto. Like, what the fuck, okay? He's a faggot or something? <laughs> but, of course, I don't know the man. I haven't seen his face or anything like that. But what his videos was about, why racism, his title was, why racism is amazing. See, he was almost right there. Don't you see the pandemonium, how it is? People who actually say things are exciting, which is in the dark side, are actually the ones who have the knowledge. You see how this world works? I say it's exciting, racism exciting. He says it's amazing. But then if you look at the, the turd flinging monkey, he says it's retarded. You see how backwards how society is? See it? The most noble individuals talk about twisted shit that you will not agree with. Just like Jesus, when he was talking about science and shit, he was doing the miraculous thing, he got hung for it. And plus, he was black in the Bible. Think about the facts that you're missing, okay? And when I say I'm Jesus, people will think I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? But what he talked about, he basically separated through facts and statistics. He took it from the CDC 4x6 on the YouTube. He took it from the media attention. He put it down there and said, throughout the history of mankind, whites have been superior in almost every, over every race. But I say it's a fact because that's what the media puts out. I don't know if it's a fact there was another race higher than the regular white race. I know there's different types of white race. Okay, I know the German race is more uh, more powerful than Switzerland and the and the, and the North American races, the South and the, the the North races. The German race, they had to take a couple Germans from well, after they defeated Hitler and bring them over to America to, to create the atomic bomb. Did you know that? Did you know that shit? Okay. <laughs> now, it's a fact through the internet, but I don't believe everything I see on the internet because I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. Okay. As I said before, he talks about facts, but he slipped up and he didn't even slip up. He was actually saying, I don't like them niggas. He, he even talked about Thomas Sow. And this is sexy Migto. And he's absolutely correct. And he also said that there are black people and there are niggers. He said it. Okay. And he had a point. He has a point. I said, yo. Not all blacks are the same. We're a different species. I have Indian in my blood and German in my blood. Now you see how my IQ goes up. You see, I don't fit in with the normal Negro in the hood. As I was in the past, when I was younger, and I used to hang with those niggas. I, they didn't want to listen to me, but they gave me a title. They gave they, they, they named me knowledge. That's why my page is Marthy is this knowledge. <laughs> so you got to understand the, the paradox with this world, okay? So I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. But what I'm going to say here is the Aboriginal people are the lowest species because they were here first. That's what it said. They were created in Africa. Okay. And then you got the pyramids who were created by the alien beings and the god beings. And then you got the hoteps who believe in that type of shit, which we don't really know the true full meaning behind it. It could all be a scam by the white man. The Roman Greek Hellenization. Nobody really knows the truth about the Egyptian gods. Horace, Set, none of them individuals. But they believe in that power. They believed in that mysticism. Everyone has their own mysticism, babies. So what else is there? The reason why it's exciting really deeply, okay, is if niggas say they are the original man, which I get tired of hearing that shit. I'm like, yo, every race have their own attributes. Blacks can dance and sing better than whites, okay? Whites can think better with calculations and mathematics. They're slave masters and so forth and so forth. You got Indians who, who can chant this and, and do that. You got Chinese who are more on the, the, the flower side. Boom, wait, okay? You know, you got the Chinese and the Orientals, okay? And they built the Great Wall of China and shit. But every race have their attributes, babies. Don't get mad. No race is more superior than another in every aspect, in every field, in every trait. That is a fact, okay? And before long, 
we can't go too far back in our history because this earth is over billions of years. <clears throat> and as the African Proverbs have said, the African Proverbs says we used to have both sexes on us. We used to be as one. Okay? We didn't even need to, to copulate with another sex at one time. I was shocked that when I heard that story from uh, Credo, Credo, C-R-E-D-O. He's an African Proverbs ancient shaman man. Okay. And he said he got his little necklace stolen and stuff. He was talking about David Icke and stuff. It's on YouTube. Just look it up. Look up Credo and David Icke, okay, if you want to. But if you got to understand, this old, this 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 world is billions, over billions of years old. We don't know how old it is. There are patches of this earth that are so abandoned and left out. There are so patches of this earth that are so burnt out, okay. I believe in the stories of Shiva. I believe in almost everything. But the thing is that there's a possibility it's all not real. I told you, nothing exists unless you actually were there, okay? So you got to keep it down. You got to keep it down and don't get so sensitive. Black lives don't matter. Everybody's lives matter, baby. I know people may say, oh, blacks are getting killed. Both so for, for. Maybe that's karma. That's the reason why they're getting killed, okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm not dead, okay? I'm paranoid and delusional. Delusional schizoid, okay? <laughs> you see how this world works? Take the emerald pill, baby. Take the emerald pill. And get off them crackers and shit. Get off them hillbillies. Get off those niggeroids and niggers, okay? I'm black. I can see the word niggers, okay? Harry Stern, H Howard Stern said the word niggers, okay? okay Y'all better listen to Howard Stern. He says the word niggers all the time, okay? He says in the comical sense. But look look at Bill Meyer, okay? Bill Meyer said the word nigger in a joking sense, but people didn't like that shit. Because he's like on TV, okay? <laughs> but understand the facts, though. The facts is, is exciting because this world is a pandemonium, crazy, chaotic nut job place, okay? It's a place for you to experience all sorts of joys and happinesses and sorrows. And I'm going to keep it like that. Keep mine down to 11 minutes. Maybe even 12. That's it. Boom. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of Light and Dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. Have a nice day. Have a nice fucking day. And I'll put the link down below very shortly. Peace.